Okay, so hopefully that hasn't bored the life out of you and you're still awake. Um, I'm just going to quickly go through some of the buttons on the on the around of the car for you, just so that you can see. So excuse the noise because I'm in the balloting bay. So these are the plus and minus for the, uh, the illumination inside the car. The P with the little bell when the sensor is to turn the front parking sensors off. This one is to open up the rear of the car, so open the boot. I had to tuck that because Johnny was screaming. And the next one is to turn your lane departure warning off. Your windscreen wipers are situated to the right hand side of the road. Your rear, sorry, right side of the wheel. Your rear wiper is is controlled here you have a high low and an off and then your main wipers are controlled here so down one is intermittent that then brings into play this little reel if you set that to auto that will only work when the rain starts coming in then you've got down again for double speed the normal speed and then down again for double speed Pulling it towards you will wash the front windscreen. Pushing away from you will wash the rear windscreen. Your cruise control is situated here. So you get up to the speed you want to go. So say you're going 50 mile an hour, you press the cruise button, and then you have a toggle below which says res or set. To set, you just pull that toggle down just once, and it will say on the screen that the cruise is on. And then if you want to stay at that limit, you just press that button and it will not let you accelerate above what you've got on. If you're in cruise control though and you want to accelerate or decelerate, moving that toggle up or down will change your MPG by one MPG. On this side, we have the button for the heated steering wheel. We have the button to control with your Apple CarPlay or Android player, your instruction button. The mode button to change whether you're listening to FM, FM2, AM or DAB. Your volume control and your pickup point for your, for your phone. Your indicator stalk is behind that. Now, if you put your lights to auto, then they're going to come on automatically, which is, makes sense. You will have daytime running lights anyway, though. By turning that up to your side lights it's not really going to make much difference because you you wouldn't really notice it and then you've got your full lights above that and then your full beam flash is on there you also have your rear fog light and front fog light on here so that's basically what's going on behind the wheel now you do have flappy paddles here you're on your right hand side you have the plus one and on the left hand side you have the negative one that's if you put the car down into drive and then you nudge it across to manual you can either change gear by nudging forwards to go up gear or pulling back to come back a gear or you can go up by pulling the little tab or down there just uh, being told by the valetor that he needs to make the hoover so i've said give, give for just a minute so your heating controls are here um you've got dual zone climate so at the moment they're both working independently if you click the sync button it comes up on your screen what's happening so you've got both being the same temperature if you switch that off you can see that they're individual temperatures this one shows you whether it's air coming straight into the car or recycled. Your fan one is next. So pushing up, you'll see the little fan signal get bigger and the amount of uh, flames coming out there because it's currently on hot. Come down. Your mode selection for where you're actually having the air directed, your air con on and off and then that off button switches the whole thing off. So pretty self-explanatory there. Below that you have heated seats and ventilated seats. So heated seats, you press it once on the right hand side, that gives you full power. And then by pressing it 
you've got the three different settings. If you press the left hand side, you have the three cooler settings. And again, you just press that. Underneath that, your USB and your, your pa extra power point. Now, behind the gear stick, you have an auto hold button and your handbrake. To activate the handbrake, you put your foot on the clutch. If you're gonna release the brake, you push it forward. If you're gonna put the handbrake on, you pull it back towards you. Auto hold is basically like a handbrake where you don't have to keep using this. So if you've put the auto hold on and it will tell you in the screen behind your steering wheel, then basically when you get to a set of traffic lights, you put your foot on the brake, you take your foot off and the car will hold in position until you accelerate away again. Um, the knob in the middle twists you so you have in the middle screen here you have normal sport or winter and that's what happens when you drive to spill all that one around um, last little bit here is if we go into mode and we press this little cog in the bottom we come up with a back display so we've got clock to change the clock sound all those sorts of things now the one vehicle sync will give you your mood lighting colors so I don't know if you can see at the moment you may or may not there's blue if I press red that will change to red or yellow or purple back to a different blue now we've got all those different colors but you've also got if you press the end one you've actually got a slider so you can change the colors as you go and that's in the door panels as well as across the front screen there and that will come on when you have your lights on so I think that's quite enough to take in um, obviously we're here to help you with anything um, should you need it um, quite unusual circumstances so um, sorry if I've bored, bored you to death or complicated things um, but just give us a call if you don't understand anything thank you